Howdy folks, welcome to another Clean Water Store video. Today we are going to be programming the 5900 E Series softener valve. When you first apply power and plug the valve in, it's going to say C, and then it's going to say a couple of numbers. They do change the revision, so don't worry about what number it says. Then, in the valve in the service state, it's going to be flashing between the clock time and a number of gallons. And how we're going to go ahead and program it is first we'll set the clock time and our hardness. So we're going to press and release quickly the upper button, the menu enter button, and it's flashing 12.01. So say it's 3.15 p.m. right now. We're going to press the set change button. Now the ones place is flashing. We're going to put it at 5 for 3.15. Menu enter. We're going to skip over to the tens place. Poke the set change button. Now we've got a 1 for our 315. Menu enter. 12. Press the set change button. Whatever number is flashing is the one you're going to adjust. There's 3. Now we have it all flashing. It's all 315. We say, OK, it's 315. Press the menu enter button. Now we have to select AM or PM. Let's say it's 315 in the afternoon right now. So we go ahead and select PM. So now the valve is set for the correct clock time at 3.15 p.m. We advance to the hardness. You need to know what your hardness is in grains per gallon. So you need to get it off of your test report or however you come to know it. And same thing, if we want to adjust it, it starts at 25. Let's say we want to put 12. So we'll go ahead and we will press the set change button. The ones place flashes. And we advance the valve over the uh, button over to number 2. Hit the menu enter, and all the way around the horn up to number one. Now we've got hardness of 12. Now it's going to go back to the clock time and that number of gallons. Now we're going to enter the main programming and do the cycle steps and set the capacity for the unit. How we get in there is by pressing and holding both buttons at the same time. And after about five seconds or so, we will get to a screen that says R and 2A is the default. That's the time that the valve is going to backwash, uh, what time it's going to start its re regeneration. Uh, unless you have another filter that is already backwashing at 2 a.m., then 2 a.m. is the general default time. So I'm not going to change that. A and 07. This is the number of days, the, the maximum number of days that if the gallons counter does not get to zero, it'll still do a backwash. It's called the day override function most of the time. And if you have a 1.5, or excuse me, if you have a three quarter cubic foot system, the smallest system that we make, you'll set this for 18 days. For all the others, go ahead and we're going to set it for 24 days, which means that if you don't count down to zero or if you go on vacation or something and you're not using the water, then after 24 days, it will backwash at 2 a.m. and that keeps the uh, polymer resin beads from uh, sticking together. So now we're in the four cycle steps. There's actually five cycles. The fifth one is the service, is the valve being in service. Cycle step one is the backwash, and that one for a softener, for all softener models, we're going to set it at zero, 08 minutes. We got zero, 08 minutes for our backwash. Cycle step two is our brine draw for a saltwater softener. Your brine draw is almost always going to be 60 minutes. That's the default value. Set that. Press the menu enter button. Cycle step three is the rapid rinse. Only need six minutes there. So we're going to tap that till we get to six. Zero, six. All flashing. Confirm it. Cycle step four is returning water and in your guide there is a little table that tells you how many minutes now i'm going to say for this system i'm going to set it up as if it was a 48k softener which is one of the more common sizes of softener and a 48k softener it wants nine minutes of water returned to the side tank to give enough salt to give enough water to dissolve enough salt for the next regeneration so you have four and you have nine, so that's the cycle step four, the brine fill. 
Now we have the capacity, defaults at 27. This is in thousands, so that's 27,000. Like I said, we're going to pretend we've got a 48K system here. So now I've got it at 48,000. Now my last setting here, my, my, almost my last setting, is a percentage of safety factor off of the unit. You can set this at zero, which is, well, you want to set it for at least 10%. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 10%. And I'll explain here in a moment what I'm doing. And 10, so now I've shaved it for 10%. I'm going to finish going through the menu options, and then I'm going to explain that. The next one is Bluetooth enabled, BE, Bluetooth enabled. It comes programmed, enabled. Uh, eventually, we'll roll out the app that you can download to your computer and then you, or to your uh, cell phone, and then you'll be able to uh, uh, do that to uh, check on the valve if you so desire. But it's not currently really being used. And it's also a, a function that is used for people who, uh, dealers who rent the valves and so forth. So the last three is the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth phone protocol, and then uh, a number that it flashes, and then it takes you back to the main service screen. So now I've changed my number of gallons. It took 48,000 grains, and it divided it by 12, and it came up with a 4,000-gallon uh, run, and then I subtracted 10% off of it, which gives us a remainder of 3,600 gallons remaining. This will count down to zero, and then it will backwash at 2 a.m. And so if it counts down to zero right after, it, right, right after 2 a.m., you'll still have softened water because of the safety factor when you put in. So you've still actually got 400 more gallons of water that will get softened before it'll do the, re the regeneration. So don't set the P1 at zero. Otherwise, if it runs to zero and then you continue to run the water through the system, you'll exhaust the resin and start getting hard water again. Uh, the very last thing on the programming video is if you press and hold the upper button, the menu enter button, and press and hold it for a few seconds, it puts you in to a menu, and you'll sometimes accidentally get into this menu when you're trying to press and hold both of them. And this is a diagnostic menu, and it's going to tell us a couple of things. Right now it's saying uh, the flow. So when the valve is in service, if somebody turns on the water then right now the flow and it'll tell you how many gallons in ones tenths and hundredths and so you'll know what the flow is going through the system and the next one after flow is the gallons total and uh, that that's the total number of gallons that have set through the second one is the gallons total also it's a non-resettable factory one uh, then we have the uh, number of regens that the valve has done and also the number of regens that the valve has done from the factory. And that'll always say a couple when you get it. It's so showing one. They tested the valve once before they sent it out. Uh, then we have, uh, let's see, gallons per day. Uh, gallons per day used. It'll track the next uh, 42 days back going, something like that. And uh, gallons between regenerations. It'll tell you how many gallons of water went from one regeneration to the next, which obviously should always on a softener be the same amount as your gallons total unless the default of the day override made it go off and then uh, the last one is uh, let's see that's just a, a tech diagnostic it's not really for the general use and then the last one we get back we're back out of the programming we're back into the time so that is how we program the softener for the 5900e thanks folks